Hello, thank you for joining me. Um, what I have here today is the bottom of an X-Arcade uh, stick. I'll, well, I guess you can see the top there. You can see it says X-Arcade. Uh, I've swapped the buttons out. Uh, I did that a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago, a couple a year or two ago. And um, you can see here, this this is basically how uh, you know it normally looks on the bottom. You've got all the, the wires hooked up here. They're going to the nice X-Arcade board there. It lets you hook it up to all kinds of cool... Uh, home console systems and uh, hook up to your PC for doing MAME and all that kind of stuff. So very nice stick. And um, what I've done is added a whole lot of additional wires to it. Now my uh, my the theory here is that um, basically on each of the connections here I've just split it. I have a little splitter, a homemade splitter that I made. I'll show you how to make those a little bit later. But um, uh, I've basically done that so I can simultaneously have all of the X-Arcade uh, wiring hooked up to these buttons as well as um, a JAMA harness uh, hooked up. So um, I'm going to test that out. I wanna, I've got a new arcade board here I'm going to try it out with. Let's see, uh, let's see how this setup works. Alright, so um, we're, we're trying out a, a second setup here. I haven't turned this on. I have no idea if this is going to work. Um, but I have a, a new board. This is the only uh, other board I'm intending to get so far. Um, this is another Macross board. This is the original uh, Super Dimensional Fortress Macross uh, arcade game. Um, now I have my TV set on the side here. Um, I don't even know if this is the right way. It might have to be flipped 180. But um, what I've done here that's different, um, you can see you know, I've got my power supply set up. We tested it out the first time. Um, but I'm a little on the fence about what to do with the video, so I want to see if doing this with the video, with a, a television, using this VGA out, and ironically then going into a, um, a converter that's converting it from VGA to a regular um, like RCA uh, AV in, um, is going to be viable for this, if that's going to seem authentic enough for coming from this, uh, this real arcade board for me. Additionally, I've also set up the uh, controls. Um, and uh, I showed you a little bit earlier how I had the, the splitters, and I'll show you how I make those uh, at the end of the video. But let's just fire this up, and I want to see if, uh, if this works. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Oh, wow. So my, minor <laughs> uh, issue there, but uh, all right. This looks cool. So let's see. Um, I don't have sound hooked up, so this is just for video. Um, I mean, it's on a CRT. It looks pretty good. Um, can we get any sort of anything here? Did I hook this up right? Ooh, not, not really working the way I was expecting. Inserting coin. Hmm. All right, well, let's, let's try it again with this. <laughs> Hopefully we can get this working the way that I want. So I'm trying what I think will work. Okay, with just a single button, that seems to be working. I'm getting credits. So, it might be something up with the way that I have this hooked up here. So, uh, let's give this another go here. Haha, <laughs> thank goodness. Okay, so finally. Um, we got this working. I just, uh, I was not making a good connection, and that was just some of the custom, you know, uh, connectors that I made. Um, that was my fault. But, uh, here we are. Wow. So, what this lets me do, since I've got this hooked up to my X-Arcade, um, these buttons are doing double duty, which is really neat, because, uh, it means that they, they're just running like a control panel, um, right to this JAMA harness. Um, X-Arcade has stated explicitly on their website that they will not um, make a JAMA, you know, connector um, for X-Arcade. So, I mean, this is something you could do to uh, to hook up uh, your X-Arcade stick to JAMA. And um, the other cool thing about this is that I could run this cab as a main cab, which is what I'm thinking about doing. So I, I would have, like, a double-duty... Um, with a main cab and some real uh, arcade boards. I actually um, plan to put both of these arcade boards in there. I don't have the hardware to do that right now, but um, I am planning to get that. I just wanted to give this a shot and see what I think of this. Um, and so far, I've got to say, I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, obviously, this TV's a little small. I'd be using a bigger one. 
and uh, let's just try, you know, maybe I'll do the, uh, let me just grab a remote for this and I'll adjust the brightness and contrast right on the TV. I know you guys can't see it too well. Let's um, give you guys a better view here so, so you can actually see what's going on. And I'll play this game a little bit. Okay, so I adjusted the brightness on this just a little bit. Um, I mean, the brightness is around where I would expect for it to be. And, uh, you know, this is tough because how, how do I really compare how this looks? You know? <laughs> Um, my hazy memories of playing this at the uh, you know, at the arcade back in the day, um, but you know I'll I'll try this out with the maybe with the other board with the Macross Plus. I definitely like to get some sound hooked up for this, but I just wanted to do this as kind of a proof of concept to say, hey, you know, is this a, uh, a viable solution? And I'm gonna have to think about it here. You know, I need to think: is this authentic enough for me? But I'm um, really pleased to have uh, this control panel uh, solution working. And um, you know, let me go ahead and I'll, I'll show you how to put those uh, together and how to test those connectors. Obviously, I didn't test them as well as I should have. But uh, um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and put those together so you can see how you could do this for yourself if you're uh, if you're interested. Alrighty, so um, really quickly here, I'll just show you how to go ahead and put together those uh, those splitters, um, so you can hook uh, two devices up to um, to one uh, button, <laughs> um, make your controller do double duty. So um, what I picked up here, these are some things from you know like local Radio Shack and stuff like that, and some things I got online. Uh, I picked up these are piggyback uh, quick connectors. So you can see here they've got the regular um, sort of quick connection on it. And then um, there's another, uh, you know, connector coming off the, the back there. And what I decided to do was um, to basically use a, like a, just a length of wire um, coming off of each thing um, so that I would have to do the least amount of, like, chopping and, and altering to the original things. I didn't really want to cut up my... Um, JAMA harness, I didn't really want to cut up my X-Arcade, so this is going to let me plug both of those in um, without really making any alterations. So the first thing I'm going to do is just cut a really short bit of wire here. Um, this is, I don't know what, 22 gauge I think, um, something in that vicinity, 18 maybe, and um, you know, just really short, like an inch, an inch to two inches. This is probably, I don't know, inch and a half or something. Um, I don't know that you have to do this, but I took just a little bit, I'm going off camera here, but just a little bit uh, off the, the ends of this, so, uh, yeah, not very much at all. I don't know if you can see that uh, up close, I doubt it's going to uh, focus really, but um, I don't know that you have to do that. I think you, when you crimp these, it's really supposed to like crimp right into the insulation, but um, I just wanted to give it a little extra something to... Um, to make a contact with. And um, so we're going to take our quick connector here. Uh, we're just going to slide this in, make sure to get the insulation up in there. Um, you see a little bit of the bare wire is just sticking out the end. And um, I don't know if this is exactly what this is for, but in the middle of this here, um, I'm just using this to, to crimp. I guess it says an insulation crimper right on it, non insulated. I'm actually using the non insulated. I don't know. It works pretty well. So I'm going to put this in here. And uh, we're just going to squeeze it really tightly. <coughs> and um, that has been uh, crimped. If you can see that. Made a nice little indent in there. And, um, you know, we're going to use our uh, meter to test it out. We'll see if we made a, a good connection on that. You can hear that make some noise, at least you probably can. Um, so that means we did pretty good. So uh, then we're going to keep going. So the other thing I have here are some of these little spade connectors. And I got them, they're, um, they're actually quite small. Um, I figured that the, the connectors on these switches are probably 
pretty small, but I actually got them smaller than I needed, but that's fine. Um, I don't think that that's really a problem. They make a good connection. Um, so we're going to put one of those right on the end of here. That's where we're going to hook up the, uh, the X-Arcade, uh, the old wire to. So uh, go ahead and crimp that the exact same way. You sound that, the, hear that sound, it's making a really good connection. So um, the th next thing we're going to do is pretty much exactly uh, the same thing. We're just going to make one more uh, length of wire, except we're going to make a connector that can just plug right onto the top of it. Uh, so this time we're using these. Um, I don't know what this says. It's Disconnect F. I don't know. This is a, a 250 sized um, fem female uh, insulated connector here. Um, so same thing, we're going to use a, a short length of wire. I'm just going to do this up here. There we go. That's good. Okay, so now that we've done that, um, we're just going to plug this right into here. And we have a split connection. Um, this is one that we can just go ahead and plug uh, like a you know, wire that's coming from the X-Arcade board. We could plug a wire that's coming in from the... Uh, from the JAMA harness onto. And you're going to need to have two of these for each button. Um, they're going to go, you know, one's going to go here, and this is going to go to the, like, the active um, wire, and then we're going to have one coming off of here, and that's just going to be going to, like, the ground sort of common uh, wire. And uh, that's that's it. Uh, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, you know, I made all of these that I used for the, that one player um, in, like, an evening. And granted, my hands were a little sore from crimping all those wires, but uh, it's not, not too hard. So uh, you guys can do this at home. I uh, hope that that was helpful, and uh, you know, I hope that you will join me again for some more video game-related videos. Thanks for watching.